in this lesson i discuss one more problem problem number 2 of mathematical formulation of a linear programming problem problem number 2 you see i study the problem first and then formulate a firm manufactures headache pills in two sizes a and b size a contains two grains of aspirin 5 grains of bicarbonate and 1 grain of codeine size b contains 1 grain of aspirin 8 grains of bicarbonate and 6 grains of codeine it is found that by users that it requires uh, at least 12 grains of aspirin 74 grains of bicarbonate and 24 grains of codeine for providing immediate effect then formulate as a standard linear programming problem this is what the problem so the now you have to formulate mathematically as a linear programming problem so very first and foremost important point in the solution is decision variables you have to formulate identify decision variables what are the decision variables here obviously we can easily catch the decision variables identify the decision variables a company manufacture headache pills that is uh, let you consider the decision variables decision variables as i am considering x1 be the number of number of headache pills headache pills of size a similarly x2 we can consider number of headache pills of size b hope it is uh, it is very clear right so i have considered the decision variables as number of headache pills of size a and number of headache pills of size b x1 x2 that is what uh, the first problem identifying the decision variable step 1 this is what step 1 now what is step 2 step 2 is objective function objective function what is objective function here that is what so identifying the objective function now we have to formulate objective function in terms of a linear function in terms of the decision variables x1 x2 so what you have to do is you have to manufacture headache pills a company want to manufacture two kinds of headache pills to get immediate relief to get whatever the headache pills which we are using to get immediate relief which means so you have to consider we have to consider to get minimum number of pills you have to take minimum number of pills to get immediate relief that you see here that's providing immediate effect so therefore usage of the headache pills should be as minimum as possible to get the immediate relief so therefore i am considering objective function is minimization minimizing the minimizing the objective function z to get minimum number of pills of x1 and minimum number of pills of x2 that is x1 plus x2 it is minimized it is to be minimized the number of pills are to be minimized and so that i am considering the minimum number of pills x1 the minimum number of pills of x2 that is uh, of size a and size b two kinds of headache pills so therefore objective function is clear now step 3 what is step 3 constraints constraints in formulating the constraints 
In formulating the constraints, you have to see the problem again. See here. It is found that by users that it requires at least 12 grains of aspirin, 74 grains of bicarbonate and 24 grains of codeine is required for providing immediate relief, immediate effect. So therefore, if you formulate each one constraint for aspirin, bicarbonate and codeine. So as you see here, definitely it manufactures based on these three. Now you see, refer size A, size A contains, uh, that is uh, one pill of size A, which means, uh, the meaning of this is one pill of size A, which con contains, which contains two grains of aspirin, five grains of bicarbonate and one grain of codeine, it requires, this is what the, the ratio it is required to produce one pill of size A, one pill of size A. It requires 2 grains of aspirin, 5 grains of bicarbonate and 1 grain of codeine. Similarly, size B, which contains 1 grain of, that is 1 pill of size B, 1 headache pill of size B to manufacture, it contains 1 grain of aspirin, 8 grains of bicarbonate and 6 grains of codeine. That is what required. So, therefore, it requires at least 12 grains of aspirin. That's what I'm considering first. 12 grains of aspirin, okay, uh, which is going to be considered as in the constraint of aspirin, right? You uh, see, I'm writing as constraint number one as considering aspirin, for which uh, I'm going and uh, considering here uh, size A. That is to produce one pill of size A, it requires two, it contains, uh, it must contain two grains of aspirin, two grains of aspirin. Which means uh, to produce X1 pills, it requires two into X1 uh, grains of aspirin. So that is, uh, that is what in the aspirin. To produce one pill, it requires two grains of aspirin and to produce X1, uh, X1 uh, headache pills it requires 2 into x1 grains of aspirin and come to that uh, next one size b contains one grain of aspirin one grain of aspirin that is to produce one pill of size b it requires one grain of aspirin so which means uh, one one grain of aspirin is required to produce uh, one pill, uh, one headache pill of size B. So therefore, to produce X2, X2 pills, it requires one into X2 grains of aspirin. One into X2 grains of aspirin. So therefore, the total uh, grains of aspirin it requires uh, to produce the two manufacture two uh, headache pills, uh, two X1 plus one X2. That is two X1 plus X2. So it should not. Uh, exceed it requires yeah it requires at least 12 grains of aspirin it requires 12 grains of aspirin at least 12 grains of aspirin that is greater than or equal to 12 grains so therefore constraint is 2x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 12 it is greater than or equal to 12 so that is what the first constraint of aspirin similarly second one you consider for bicarbonate for bicarbonate you see here to produce one pill of size a it requires five grains five grains of bicarbonate that is to produce x1 pills it requires five into x1 grains of uh, bicarbonate so that is the 5 into x1 grains of bicarbonate first of all and plus uh, for size b to produce one pill of size b it requires uh, 8 grains of bicarbonate that is to produce uh, x2 pills of size b it requires 8 into x2 it requires 
8 into x2 grains of bicarbonate. But uh, at least 74 grains of bicarbonate is going to be used. It is going to be used. So therefore, it requires greater than or equal to 74 grains of bicarbonate. We have to use to produce, to manufacture, uh, to manufacture two headache pills, two kinds of headache pills. Similarly, I am considering third one for codeine. Third constraint, it is for codeine, right? Now, come and come back and refer. A six to produce one, one pill of size A, it requires one grain of codeine. That is to produce X1 pills of size A, it requires 1 into X1 grains of codeine. 1 into X1 grains of codeine. Plus, come to the size B. To produce 1 pill of size B, it requires 6 grains of codeine. It requires 6 grains of codeine. So, therefore, to produce X2 pills of codeine, x2 pills of size b it requires 6 grains 6 into x2 6 into x2 grains of uh, codeine so therefore and we have one particular restriction by users it requires uh, at least uh, at least uh, 24 grains of codeine 24 grains of codeine so therefore it requires uh, greater than or equal to 24 grains of codeine that is x1 plus 6 x2 it is greater than or equal to 24 grains of codeine that is what the third third constraint hope you understand this is what uh, the third constraints uh, as for aspirin one constraint for codeine bicarbonate and another second constraint for codeine third constraint so three constraints we have now it was for uh, which were formulated now step 4, step 4 it is obviously the number of headache pills are greater than or equal to 0, x1 greater than or equal to 0 and x2 greater than or equal to 0 obviously. So therefore this is what uh, obviously um, no need to uh, give any explanation for the uh, fourth one non-negativity that is non-negative restrictions that is the number of headache pills are always greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0, equal to zero. that is greater than or equal to 0 greater than 0 or equal to 0. So therefore, fine, uh, uh, we can conclude that the final, the, the mathematical formulation of the given linear programming problem for converting into the standard form of a linear programming problem. Now it is uh, minimize z is equal to x1 plus x2 subject to the constraints that is subject to the constraints that I am writing here 2x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 12 and 5x1 plus 8x2 it is greater than or equal to 74 and x1 plus 6x2 it is greater than or equal to 24 and finally the non-negative restrictions x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0 this is what the mathematical formulation of a linear programming problem of so whatsoever given problem how to convert as mathematically or the standard linear programming problem mathematically fine this is what the problem the conversion conversion of or formulating mathematically of a given linear programming problem thank you